House has confirmed the terror attack this noon on the U.S. consulate in Turkey. At least two people are dead. More potential injuries reported as well. Now, this attack comes on Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's last day. And when tensions are already fresh from the recent deadly attack in Benghazi, we're going to get right over to Jumia Labanji in our satellite center with the very latest. Jumi? Well, Sine, good afternoon. Turkish, uh, the Turkish minister says the U.S. embassy bomber is connected to a domestic leftist group. We do not know his identity this noon, but what we do know is that this investigation is ongoing at this hour, both overseas and here in Washington. State Department officials say the terror attack happened just outside the U.S. Embassy and in Ankara around 6.15 this morning Eastern Time. They say the suspected suicide bomber set off a bomb killing himself and at least one other person who officials say is an embassy guard. Several others were injured. Very sad. The bomb appears to have exploded inside the security checkpoint at the side entrance to the embassy. That's the entrance officials say is used as a personal staff entrance. The door to the embassy was blown off its hinges, but the U.S. ambassador says the inside of the embassy did not sustain any major damage. Turkey's prime minister spoke out condemning the attack. These attacks are against all the peace and welfare of our country. We will stand tall, we will stay together, and we will overcome these. The U.S. Embassy in Turkey's capital city is heavily protected and located near several other embassies, including those of both Germany and France. Reports are that embassy employees took shelter in a safe room inside the compound soon after the explosion. While there's been no official statement from the White House or the U.S. Embassy here in D.C., sources say top government officials are keeping a close side on the situation. We're getting to the bottom of this and we will continue to fight terrorism together. In today's event, it's clear we, we both suffer from this terrorist, terrible problem. And at this, uh, just within the past minute, we just officially heard from the White House spokesman Jay Carney saying that they are looking into this, quote, act of terror. We do know that U.S. officials are urging all Americans to stay away from all U.S. diplomatic offices throughout Turkey. We'll have more on this developing story at WJLA.com. In the Satellite Center, Jumia Labanji, ABC 7 News.